call this shopping with Mike. Well, you see, that's that's much easier than taking a picture. Now everybody can see. So what's this? This, vlogs. this? Yeah, this can go in the vlog. So I mean, this ain't the start of it. Where are we? Like, We've already been here too long. We gotta go. Blooming Dead. That's where we should go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, where, where, where did you say this was? Like a, a, a mall? City Mall. Century, yeah, that. That's where we are. We're doing some shopping. Well, I got a prepaid phone. That's about it. But yeah. Where are we walking to, Mike? <laughs> We're just walking. I don't even know where we are. This looks a bit sketchy. I like it though. Hey guys. So uh, I'm in the. What's this room called? The Barbara Streisand. Scoring stage right here. Oh, was that like? This is where Cinebrass was recorded. So this is the, uh, the Sony scoring stage, right? Mm -hmm. It's huge. That's kind of mental. It doesn't look as big on here. So I'm not filming you. I've got the back camera on. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry I missed your thumbs <laughs> up then. So this is where the brass section would go. All right, let's have a look where the brass section would go. I don't want to be quiet. There's stuff on risers here, and uh, trombones go right in front of them. All right. And uh, you see that you know they're pretty far, far back. The From where the conductor is over there. Yeah. And what's I'm, great about this stage uh, is it's very. Hang wide, on, guys. I'm, I'm going to switch yeah, to the HD, the HD yeah. camera. Let's have a look. So this is where the brass sits. Yeah. So when we sample them, right, we do them right in right in position. So this this is this would be the, what it looks like from where the brass sit, right? Yeah. Conductor's like three miles away. That's cool. And, uh, it's very, very wide room, so you get that, yeah. you know, when the trumpets are playing, they're way off in your stereo field, off to the right, and the horns are way off to the left, too. It sounds big. I mean, to be honest, someone of my caliber shouldn't really be standing in this room. I feel a bit... Why are there shirts hanging from the roof? Oh, those are... Uh, kind of uh, spooky. <laughs> that one that's just got all the light on it. It's kind of cool. So who sits here? Woodwinds. Woodwinds. So we sampled woodwinds here. Oh, there, there you go. Tell them about it, Mike. You can use it okay. as like a little. Uh, so this, this is where they recorded si mm -hmm. si Sinner. So we did not woodwinds singing. here, and we had everyone sit in their, their respective chairs. Yeah. Um, all solo instruments, so mm. very, very time consuming. We did like a, a whole week of recording, nine hours per day, so yeah. triple sessions. But actually, the way we did is we just kept the thing recording constantly. Yeah. And then next, after we do the wins, oh. well, I shouldn't be giving away secrets. Oh, oh that, you've already it's said either, too much. It's either going to be strings or, or percussion, right? Well, <clears throat> well, let's say we were standing at this part of the room. Would I be looking left or right for your next library? <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> so who do we have here? It's kind of cool. This is violins here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very good, Daniel. Yeah. You see, look, I'm, the only reason I the only reason I know where the violins sit is because I've seen other videos where they sit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the control room. Let's go. Yeah. We'll go to the control room. Right, this is conductor's thing. And now we're just going into the control room. Yeah. This is like this is like the blog tour. There we go. So there's the desk. That's hench. And then you kind of got like a seating area and all that little little ISO booth. There's actually another ISO booth in the back. All right. Way back there. Actually, there's two back there. Right. You can do a drum kit or. And, uh, I wonder whatever. if they'd be pissed if I sat in their chair. Worst they'll do is throw me out, right? <laughs> Not gonna jail me. Sitting the sure, sure. You can get me on the vlog, like. Now do it again. Do it again. It was shit. No, again. Hot. God, it is. It's so hot. Look, it's a bad choice. Here we go. We're gonna eat something. Hey, lunch. Let's get some lunch. <laughs> vlogage. Well, vlogage. Yeah. So me and Mike were just in the uh, so on the Sony scoring stage. I don't, I don't know if we were meant to be there, but I, I decided I'd sit at the desk for a little while. And the guy was like, um, um, and then I pulled funny poses, and I looked like a, looked like I looked like Gollum. 
from Lord of the Rings, but sitting at the Sony's desk, so <laughs> after you said. So we're just gonna go eat some lunch. This place. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm into filming here. Yeah, speak to you guys. So me and Mike are just eating lunch. I went with the... Uh, big, uh, to me, that was a big slice of pepperoni pizza. Mike, Mike informs me that that's nothing. That is nothing. And Mike's gone, what do you go for, Mike? Chinese beef. Are you on? Yeah, that's yours. Oh, awesome. Secrets. Secrets. What could be on it? What is on it? Is on it. So if I was to take that right now, would, would your whole life come crumbling down? Not whole life, but <laughs> whatever's on it. And uh, I'm the only person, like, not the only person, but I'm the only one in the nearby region that says cheers, mate, to everybody. Everybody else says, I don't know, everybody else just says thank you like a normal person. You're weird British. I'm, you're weird British. Is that my new nickname, British? British. Yeah. You're, you're weird British. Oh yeah, Daniel British James. So I just wanted to do a blog saying cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Hey guys. We're, we're, oh yeah. So we're we're at that. We're now at the, uh, the Fox. Where is it? There it is. The the Fox lot. Fox lot. What would you call this? The Fox Studios. Twentieth um, century Fox. Yeah, and we just went to the Fox scoring stage to see uh, Steve Jablonski uh, recording his new thing, which was really cool. Um, they actually did it in in a very like different way than what we were used to. Like mm -hmm. I thought it would be like you record like long, you know, longer sections than what they did, but you know, each to their own. Each to their own. But yeah, that was really cool. And uh, now we're just gonna head back for the day, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, really good. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you all of us later. But uh, we're gonna go home. Yeah. Ducking under palm trees. I'm so tired. My jet lag still hasn't gone. And I nearly fell asleep, which would have been rather embarrassing. But yeah, did you have fun, Mike? I did have fun. I had fun. Well, uh, we'll catch up with you later. Okay, I hang up too soon. We're gonna we we'll discreetly walk past the movie set. Fully sure we saw that. No one calls me. I have no friends. You'd have called me, wouldn't you, Mike? If you weren't well, here, why, you'd have, why you'd have called me. Why does your camera always have to face you? No one cares about you. They care about me, okay? They don't want to see the background. They want they want to see me. Don't you guys? Comments. Comments below. Tell me you wanted to see me. That's going to backfire like a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice here. I mean, I'll just do a little, uh, little pan around. Look at some palm trees. And, and it's really hot. I'm wearing a big black jumper and it's, it feels like the middle of English summer. I'm like melting. Well, how did you describe me earlier today? Thin and pale. That is me. I'm just as... What, what, I, what, I, what I lack in skin tone and, and muscle build, I make up for in sound design and uh, blogs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, catch you later.